Uh, so my topic, my quick topic this week is on self-discipline. Uh, you know, we have to have self-discipline to, um, you know, achieve our goals. And, uh, you know, one of the questions we should ask ourselves is why do we fail at something? You know, if there's something we're not, uh, whether it be, you know, if you're getting a C or a B instead of an A, especially in a graduate program, uh, you know, why is that? Um, you know, so there, whatever the obstacles are in, you know, stopping you, uh, you know, usually it is self-discipline and distractions in our life that cause it. All right. Uh, you know, it's the choices we make. You know, we're going down the road and you're supposed to stay to the right, but you turn left for what, whatever reason. You know, that was a choice. Uh, if you didn't do, get your homework done on time, that's a choice you made. Uh, there may be obstacles and distractions out there, but again, it's how you have self-discipline, how you uh, manage your, your life lifetime or your life you know the days of the week and so forth uh, you may have seen this before the saying here about don't be upset by the results you didn't get with the work you didn't do all right so that's a, a common thing you know like, oh I got to see or be in a course or something at work that didn't go a hundred percent for you or uh, the other things going on in life you know uh, you know so I mean those are just things you know, if you didn't put effort in or whatever the case is, you know, uh, we, we should be upset with what we didn't get. Uh, again, choices, uh, you know, that get us there sometimes. Uh, so you have to have self-discipline and willpower uh, to get things going. Uh, sometimes I, I use a lot of track, uh, you know, like runner type things because of uh, a self-discipline thing with runners. Um, you know, you have to develop a hatred for the, for failing, for settling, and for not doing your best, you know it, it should upset you that you didn't do your best, and you know if you really did your best or not. Um, you, we can come up with excuses that oh, it snowed, and again I use runners because um, you know it doesn't matter what the weather is, runners will go out every day and do their runs, and you know for you know practicing for the, whether it be marathons or whatever. So that's why I use them as an example. Um, you know, developing habits, you know, part of self-discipline is having a habit. You get up at a certain time, you got a certain time in the day. Uh, you know, I talk about in, in like the welcome letters I mentioned about uh, school is not something extra you do. It's just part of your life. So while you're in the MBA program or, you know, whatever program, uh, undergrad or program, you are, it's part of what you do. You know, it ain't something extra. And I use the kids. You know, you don't take care of the kid just on a Wednesday, you know, and they go on the rest of the week. So, I mean, it's the same type of thing. So, you got to have habits. Um, you know, if you're in, if you're in an MBA, um, you know, you're, you're a leader, a mentor, example, and people are watching you. Uh, you know, so it's just a matter of what you're going to be doing. Uh, and, you know, past behavior is the best predictor of future behavior. You may, you know, depending if you've seen this movie, Office Space, you may recognize this. But again, you have to figure out how to change your habits. Uh, some people can never change or don't try to change. You, you know, if you're having issues, you got to figure out a way to change those habits. Okay. Uh, let's develop positive habits. Okay. Uh, self discipline, self management, willpower, focus, and be your own boss. Okay. Be in charge of yourself, of your life. Uh, don't let circumstances and events, you know, manage you. You know, you, you're in charge of yourself and you make choices uh, to do the different things you're going to do. So that, that's pretty much it. So self-discipline, that's the topic.